Hi and welcome to another Degas fishing video. Today I'm on the River Derwent in Derbyshire. Now I've not fished the Derwent very much in the last sort of 18 months, partly because it's becoming difficult to catch barbel from here and secondly I've been exploring other rivers to be perfectly honest. But I'm back today, plan to giving it a go. There's a peg just a bit further down from here uh, which I've never, I've not fished properly before anyway but I'm going to go and give it today, give it a go today. The last few times I've been up here I've been aiming to fish this peg and there's been people on it so I'm pleased to say there's nobody on it today. So let's go and have a look at the peg then. Right, well, here's our peg for today. As I said, I've not fished it properly before. And what I mean by that is, I often rove this section in the winter with like one rod fishing different pegs for half an hour. And I have fished here for half an hour in the winter unsuccessfully, but I've never fished it properly overnight as I'm gonna to do tonight. So that's what I mean by that. And as you can see, the river sort of narrows here and then it sort of widens out and flows past all these overhanging trees which I guess is a bit of the feature so I've not put my deeper through yet or actually set up or anything so I'm going to get on and do that now and then once I've set up and I've put the deeper through I'll come back to you and we'll talk a bit more about the peg and how I'm going to fish it see you in a bit all right well I'm all set up now I've put my deeper through and had a good look about so quite surprised at how deep it is so to my left here Right over here, it's sort of six foot, but then as it comes past me here, sort of where my rod is, it drops really quite quickly down to about 11, 12 foot. So you've got quite a nice little deep hole there. So that left hand rod's gonna go in that deep bit. But then it stays quite deep as it runs further down past these trees. It's still nine, 10 foot along here. So the right hand rod's gonna go out along those trees in the flow where you can see maybe the white foam on the water and say the other one's just going to get down to the left down here so uh, that's going to be the plan so i'm going to get the rods out unfortunately it's starting to rain but hey ho we are all set up now anyway so bivvy's all ready so we're all done so yeah so i'm going to get get the rods out in a minute all right well this is going to be my view now for the rest of the evening and overnight both rods are out and fishing I think conditions are pretty good. Temperatures like 15, 16, 17 degrees, somewhere around there. We have got some drizzle at the moment and that's meant to hang around for a few hours, but still I think conditions are not bad. The river's probably at its normal level, maybe a couple of inches. We've had a bit of rain during the week, but um, yeah, it's probably near its normal level. But it is late September, so I, say I think temperatures are not bad at all. And it's gonna stay quite cloudy and warm overnight. So uh, hopefully we'll see those rods bending at some point during the evening. Right, well nothing so far, it's now dusk. As you can see it's getting dark. So I've just refreshed both rods and put them both out again. Obviously as you can see darkness is coming down so hopefully once it gets dark some fish might come out and have a look to feed. Um, I think as an angler on small rivers like this, particularly, darkness is certainly our friend. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision saw... Now I don't know if that was a line bite or whether the fish has just stopped. But I'm going to pick it up and find out. It was a line bite. Oh no! 
Well, it's midnight now. We've not had anything so far. I thought I had a fish on my downstream rod. It actually started to go. The alarm was going. Lime has been taken. But then it stopped. I picked it up just in case there was still something on there, but nothing. So it's probably something caught in the line. The upstream rod beeped once. And that was it. So yeah, very quiet. Very quiet indeed. Though, you know, I don't come to the Derwins and expect to catch a lot of fish. If I manage one barbel, I'll be pretty happy. Uh, and I've been in this position before where at midnight nothing and then in the early hours one of them's gone. So there's still time yet. But yeah, so far nothing. So I'm going to refresh the rods and uh, get them back out and hope, uh, hope something comes along and puts a bend in one of them. Catch you later. We have a fish. I fear it's not very big though. even come off. Come on, Mr. Fishy. Come on, Mr. Fishy. There's my barbel in the net. Right, here's that fish. There we go. Seven pound one. So not massive, but still very nice. Seven pound one. Shot off, gave a great run. Good fight. Nice River Derwent barbel. Right, let's get it back. Well, I've just put that barbel back, seven pound one. Um, it's about quarter past two now. So that's the first fish. I did lose a fish about quarter past 12, half 12, but it didn't feel very big. Same rod, the downstream rod with the 18 mil, but it felt like a small chub or a bream nodding on the end. So, but it came off on the way in. So uh, I don't think it was a huge loss. But yeah, nice to get a barbel, nice to get off the mark. We've still got a good few hours of darkness, so um, hopefully we might get another one. I've just slightly repositioned my upstream rod. Um, not massively, just moved it slightly further downstream. Uh, just to try somewhere different, because I'm not seeing any action on that one at all. So, Okay, catch you later. GoPro start recording. We seem to have a fishy on this one there. Sounded like a, sounded like a big splash. Of 
Come to Andy. Come to Andy. is oh no in that net get in get in That looks a better fish than before, I think. That looks like it's got some girth on it, doesn't it? Go get it. Right, give it a rest, and we'll have a proper look. Right, well, this is a proper big barb, or this one. This one's. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 12 pounds, 10 ounces. That's a proper big do at Barbel. That's what we're after. That's exactly what we're after. Look at that. Ugh. Right, let's get it back. Right, well, here's that 12 pounder. It's been resting for a while. Can't let it go. There it goes. Cheers. Come on, get out that way, it's still there. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Well, that was certainly a, a nice fish, 12 pound 10. Just gone back now. It's, um, it's about quarter past five in the morning. That fish went through something, and if it got under the trees, but it certainly got wrapped around something because the line was all damaged. I've had to change the hook length and also take about 15, 20 foot of line off the reel as well because yeah, a lot of damage and it's easy to cast back in at this time in the morning think, oh it'll be all right but i'll be gutted if i've got another big barbell on and the line snapped so yeah so i've made taken the time made the effort to new hook length take a strip a bit of line off and make sure the damage line's gone and that rod's gone back out we've got a couple of hours of darkness left at the most now so um fingers crossed you never know might get one more but uh two two fish is decent anyway but uh yeah See you in the morning. Let's start recording. Woken up there. Well, unfortunately, my uh, my SD card on my camera got uh, was full part way through the fight there. But here's that barbel, but that looks pretty broad to me. That looks like a good fish. So uh, anyway, I'm going to give that a rest, and then we'll uh, have a proper look at it. Right, well this is a huge barbel, absolutely massive, look at that, 15 pound, exactly, this is the new PB for the River Derwent for me, this is massive, look at that, look at that, oh. 15 pound, what a very special fish that is. 
Right, I'm gonna have to get it back, but oh, what a fish! Right, well, here's that barbel, 15 pound, all rested, ready to go back. There she goes. Thanks for popping in. Oh, ho, ho, get in. Morning. Well, I'm certainly a very happy angler this morning. That was a, a very good night indeed on the River Derwent. But it started off really slow. First half of the night, nothing really. I said on my sort of update at 12 o'clock, nothing had happened. But it's not unusual. I mean, I've fished the Derwent for quite a few years now, and it's not unusual for the fish to come in the early hours of the morning. And they didn't let me down. About 12.30 I actually lost a fish, but it felt like it was a chub or a barbel. You could just feel it pinging on the end, then it came off on the way in, so I don't think it was uh, too much to worry about. And then about 2 o'clock the downstream rod with the 18 mil boilie on shot off. After a decent scrap, that was a nice barbel, £7.1. One and then when I re-put the rods out, I noticed on the left hand rod that the hair was a bit longer than normal. So I decided to put one and a half boilies on, so it was a whole 15 mil boilie and half a 15 mil boilie. Don't know why, just thought it might make a difference. Anyway, about 4.30, the upstream rod shot off and the fish went downstream and under the trees on the far bank. I could feel the line grating when I was trying to pull it back. And I did think at one point I'd lost it because it went pretty solid, but lots of change of angle and height. And I just found a height where it seemed to start to come out. Um, and eventually the fish, yeah, it came out from under the trees and, and I managed to get it in. And that was £12.10. That was a very nice fish. And then this morning I was just lying on me on me camp bed on me on me bed chair, thinking it's going to be light, fully light in like 20 minutes or so. So that's probably it. We're probably done. And just as I was thinking that, the upstream rod again shot off. But this time the fish went upstream rather than downstream. And when I picked it up, the fish came back to me quite quickly. I didn't actually think it was a particularly big fish at first. I was thinking it would probably be another sort of seven pounder. It was only when it got right in front of me and I tried to lift it that I could feel the weight. I thought, God, that feels heavy. Unfortunately, the SD card in my GoPro became full part way through the fight. So I didn't record the last part of the fight on the netting of the fish, but hey-ho. But when it was in the net, I could see it looked big. It looked really broad. And then when it went on the scales, it's 15 pound dead. So really pleased with that. That's a Derwent PB for me previous PB was 14.9 so yeah really enjoyable session only three fish but three barbel and two du two doubles so um, excellent excellent session so now it's about half seven in the morning it's fully light I'm unlikely to catch now so I'm gonna finish my coffee pack away and head off home and I'm going out for lunch with my good lady today so hope you enjoyed the video if you do maybe subscribe Cheers, tight lines.